You can't hide from me. I can smell your blood running cold. Draws me in like a bee to a flower. I honestly don't even know why you're hiding anyway. I mean, come on, it always ends the same. I always find you and I always have to bring you all the way back. And then you try finding a new way to escape and I bring you back again. It's fun playing, but... <sighs> Can we just play a different game just once? I'm tired of playing Man vs. Cockroach or whatever this game is. Alright, maybe I should... Probably be a bit more persuasive than that. Think about it. We're both... We're cut from a lot of the same material here. We're both the offspring of legends. Your father climbed an overgrown root, and my dad was a feud monger who, out of pure rage, made one fatal mistake. And that mistake truly was fatal, wasn't it? Fell all the way down that stalk. Yeah, your village. They got peace. They got a hero. They got all the wealth they could ever want. What did I get? You know all I got? All I got was a dead beanstalk laying on the ground. And all I got was a widow of a mom. And then I had to rise myself up. You know what I mean? I have to now make up for that mistake. Because in one single day, you turned not only my father, you turned my family, you turned my whole species as a whole into a laughing stock. And I don't know if I appreciate that very well, so, I mean, I'm trying to be nice here. Come on. All right, screw it. I knew where you were the whole time. I'm just trying to be nice. There you are. I honestly don't know how much more I can try and convince you, or how much of this I can take. I have tried to convince you multiple times to stay with me and become great. And yet you run away. And when you keep running, I grow in anger. And when I grow in anger, people will eventually face death. Do you not understand that? But what other choice do I have? I was not... You will not say another word, or make another sound, or you will not move a muscle unless you are spoken to, or I tell you to, or else I will crush you in my hand and watch your organs squeeze out of the top of your broken skull. Do I make myself clear? Good. You have some sense left. Now be silent as we make our way back. You, you really know how to test someone's patience, even a giant's patience. And I have tried so desperately to show you that 
I simply want what's best for you. And what is best for you is to be by my side and standing above humanity. Because humanity has treated us both as if we are goddamn prisoners of a cell and we must... Ooh. Apologies. I'm, I'm raising my voice again. I'm going to try and stay calm. But if something means so much to you, you have to raise your voice sometimes. So, for the rest of this conversation, I will stay as calm and as relaxed as I can be. And as long as you listen to whatever word I say, and you do what I'm asking you to do, all no harm will come to anybody, especially not you. I don't understand the problem you are facing. Because honestly, if someone comes to you and says we can make you a god among mortals, why would you want to turn that down? Why would you want to still live in the hellhole that is our current life? Because the only good thing you can do in life is sleeping. You know why it's good to sleep? Because that way, you can avoid the harsh reality of what your life is and what your life has become. This is no dream. This is as real as it gets. You can become a god, have countless servants at your helm, and yet you decide to stay in the gutters with the rest of them. What? mentally is going through your skull, that empty little coconut of a head that makes you still not want to be with me and not become something even greater than a god. Because a god nobody can prove actually exists. A god is a figment of someone's imagination. Whereas now, we can be ones that people can believe in because we are true. We do truly exist. We can become the stuff of legends. We can be something that our grandchildren can tell their grandchildren about. Something the mortals can tell for eons to come. Something simply gigantic. So, answer me a question. What is it about my proposal that you are not simply understanding and something that you are refusing to admit to? Hmm? Okay, I suppose... With a little bit more thought, it's maybe a bit harsh to enslave all of the humans for what happened to my father. I mean, but still, come on. The giants, we were amazing in our prime. And that one single act turned us into a joke. Hmm. Now, it's understandable that you might see my side of this. Your father is a feared monger, and he falls down an overgrown root. But look, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a new deal, as a matter of fact. You, my lovely, will stay with me. You will stay forever. And you will still become a giant. And we will still be together. And... As a reward, I'll be sure not to harm any other humans, unless provoked. So what do you think? You still have an opportunity at glory. You still have an opportunity to etch your name in the books. Step out of your father's shadow, as I wish to step out of mine. Come on. Become larger.